Hi and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we are going to take a look at the uh, What's Your Pay Gap interactive visualization prepared by Wall Street Journal and uh, examine the idea, uh, understand what they're trying to visualize here and then see how you can implement the same in Excel as well as alternatives for it so that the key messages can be brought out in a more compelling manner. Uh, now, this is uh, a fairly engaging visual. That said, I uh, first let's take a look at this. So what we have is a what's your pay gap. That's the header. There's nothing much on the page other than the visualization. So it's basically a visual story. And what Wall Street Journal tried is they took a uh, they took the data for all the major US occupations, 422 of them and then they uh, they figured out what's the median salary both male and female uh, genders are uh, earning in those professions and try to show us where is the gap um, in, in terms of the median salary so for example a profession like uh, uh, you, you let's take a power plant operators distributors and dispatchers has uh, um you know male salary it's very tricky to maintain here so whatever right now we're looking at professional personal finance advisors so men are earning ninety nine thousand six hundred dollars whereas women are earning sixty one thousand so there's a fairly big gap uh, between male and female professionals working as personal finance advisors and uh, the chart is showing that uh, because there are 422 professions what they have done is from the least sal least earning professions for example food preparation workers and uh, child care workers those seem to be the ones that have very low pay uh, all the way up to very high earning positions for example here is your dentists and your nurse anesthetists and lawyers and those people who earn very high salaries no matter where you go you can see there is some gap uh, um, in in 99 percent of the cases it's men earning more than women uh, and uh, and the gap is visualized by a line the red dot indicates female and blue dot indicates male salary and on the y-axis you have your uh, salary figures now uh, to be honest i find this chart very confusing and uh, uh, it's more of an eye candy kind of thing rather than trying to bring out any meaningful insights uh, you know uh, because there are 422 professions finding a certain profession that you work is very hard you can use the search but uh, you know there are just so many of them that uh, finding what you want is hard and even if you try to spell it out uh, chances are you may not find uh, uh, what you what you want very quickly okay so that's uh, that's another hurdle here right uh, but most importantly what they have used is uh, called as a fish eye effect wherein as you hover on any particular profession the entire chart both on the left and right hand sides is shrinking uh, so that the focus can be on one of the professions that you have selected you can see the kind of a visual illusion this is creating like a fish eye effect uh, that you that you find in camera lenses or even in your iTunes and iPhones and wherever you need to pick one item among others. This works very well when you have a handful of selections, let's say 25 or 30, but with 422, uh, this tends to be extremely confusing and uh, it, it doesn't provide anything other than the entertainment value because the uh, you know the X position of these dots has no meaning other than the sort order of the salaries okay now that said uh, enough criticism let's first try to implement this in excel uh, we could implement most of it other than the animation part without using vba so i have tried that let me showcase that to you uh, the fisheye effect um, probably need to zoom down a bit so uh, my focus here is not to recreate the entire chart i try to just show you the, how the fisheye effect can be done uh, we have a scroll bar that Im Im imitates the scrolling mouse effect. <coughs> Ideally, you could uh, write some BBA that captures the events on this chart for mouse hovering and uh, highlights on demand. But I find that just uh, too ridiculous for this kind of a eye candy kind of a thing. 
okay it's not a true fish eye what i have done is i i gave more space to the dot that uh, we we are trying to highlight and shrunk both left and right hand side positions accord portions accordingly okay the arithmetic and the logic behind this is fairly straightforward what we have done is uh, we figured out what is the selection that you are doing through the scroll bar and then uh, calculate both uh, the x value as the scroll bar position and uh, figure out a gap that uh, that has a width of 10 so bo on both sides we have 10 pixels gap so this this selection should start from 230 and extend up to 250 and accordingly we'll figure out the multipliers for both left hand right hand side portions and uh, use that to calculate the x and y values correspondingly it's not very difficult uh, but at the end of the day i find this fish eye effect to be uh, crude and uh, and practically no use at all i mean when you have 400 data points no matter how much uh, fish eye or any other effects you do highlighting one of them is going to be very hard so we should accept that rather than trying to do some sort of eye candies like this that's my conclusion there so it's easy to say something like that but what is an alternative for this kind of data here is one alternative that i prepared this is not the best way to do it but this is one that you can do in the same amount of time but offers greater amount of insights so let's go there i'm going to turn off my headings and formula bar so we have more space for the thing uh, and uh, let me tune down a bit so this is what I call as pay gap analysis. It's fairly text data. There is no graphics here because I find uh, the graph is not doing any justice to this data. What we can do is uh, because there are 422 pro positions, uh, trying to visualize everything in one chart is not good. So we offer user a selection for filtering. So let's the, let them filter for any particular group or you can select a multiple of them because this is a slicer. So let's let's go for food preparation industry uh and uh and you can see quickly all the positions in the food preparation industry there are 12 positions all of them are uh, professions and all of them are displayed and uh, you can see quick summary here females do not earn more than males in any of those professions uh, based on the data that we have uh, we also show the most equal profession for example combined food preparation preparation and uh, service i think that's the one uh, where the median salary difference is the least it's just one person difference uh, you could you could look at, take a look at healthcare practitioners or production office administrators whatnot the other aspects of this particular visualization is that you can sort this okay you can show this by a to z alphabetical order uh, m sorted by male or female salaries or median salaries for all professions or percentage of female to male employees I don't know how accurate this data is, but uh, uh, you can see, for example, uh, you know, meter readers and utilities. Uh, uh, in this particular scenario, females earn more than males, but only 13% females compared to 100% males working. Uh, so that's that. And uh, you can also highlight, you can say, highlight nothing or highlight where females are earning more than male or females are earning 80% of male uh, or female percentage is greater than 50 percentage so that uh, you know you could see different kind of items that that matter to you okay so this one gives you greater insights it gives you the data in a naked fashion everything that is there is thrown out at you so you can do your own analysis and understand what's going on with pay gaps and even gain really good insights into particular industries or particular type of professions okay uh, if we have data we could also add data by state or territory level so that you could also examine geographical trends or uh, or by age or any other demographic information so that you can understand uh, whether pay gap exists in younger people or all age groups so on and so forth so this is one way to visualize and this provides greater insights it's lightweight it works anywhere and if you have more than 20 professions you can use the scroll bar to scroll through the list right now we don't have more than 20 in any one but if you pick a handful uh, you will you will have like that so there you go i hope you enjoyed this particular video go ahead uh, and download the workbook you can grab it from chendu.org 
uh, and, uh, and and take a look at it thank you so much for watching this video i'll talk to you again soon bye bye